Hey, what's up guys? Bsanko6 here. I hope everybody's safe during the coronavirus uh, issue here. I hope everyone's uh, taking care of themselves. And uh, I'm just letting you know that uh, I'm still here. I'm alive. I'm still in the middle of The Hunter Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, real life's kind of gotten in the way. But I figure I'd do a quick short video on weather and how it affects U-boats. Uh, I had a couple of discussions with people on subsim.com. Um, I hope if you haven't had a chance to check out subsim.com, you'll love it. Every kind of sub simulator that you can ever want to is, is, is discussed there, and you can get so many cool mods and uh, instructions from uh, older players like myself. I'm on there as well. If you find me, give me a shout out. Anyway, uh, let's talk about weather. So weather is one of the biggest things that can affect your boat. Now, the discussion I had on Subsim was why are my torpedoes missing? I'm doing all everything right. I'm calculating. I'm using math. I'm not using math. Um, biggest thing that can happen is weather. Weather is the worst thing, actually, that the U-boat commanders had to face. Um, torpedoes were not always accurate, and there's a couple of physics that are going on that is affecting your ability to hit the target. So let's talk about that. All right, well, first of all, the biggest thing that you can have happen to you that's bad is uh, broaching, okay? And it, it's due to weather, but let's talk about one that happens that's not weather-related, all right? So the first thing that happens is this. All right, you're coming up to periscope depth, but you're coming way too fast. Yes, you do want to go through the different levels of of between you know safety level, depth levels to periscope depth quick as possible, but you don't want to be going flank speed or full speed. That's just ludicrous because then you'll get what happens here, and this is called a shark fin. You don't want a shark fin out of the water because if you do, everybody sees you, and it's done and over with. All right, so you want to go at a rate that's quick but not fast. I, I usually go at about a third. You know, I go about, you know, one-third speed, <clears throat> and that's about it. At fastest, um, if the weather is choppy, this will even be worse. So you, you definitely don't want that. So let's undo this. But that's that's human error. Let's talk about weather error. All right. So you're at periscope depth here. Let's let's do this. You know. There you go. Here's your periscope. All right. You're at periscope depth. Here's what's going on. It's you know 30 meters per second or higher if you're you know playing Silent Hunter Five. Boom. Look at that. This is called broaching by weather, okay? And even though you have this little bit showing out of the water, in Silent Hunter series, it doesn't care. It's very brutal, and it makes you pay for it if you broach in even the littlest of, littlest of ways. If you're within range, visual range, of an escort to see you, and you broach, you are just as good as being on the surface. You don't want this, okay? I know you've been out there. You're probably hunting a convoy. You're at periscope depth, and all of a sudden, before you know it, you've got an escort on top of you. But he wasn't there before. And you're thinking to yourself, holy cow, what happened? Okay, even just a little bit of your conning tower showing is enough to give him an alert to come at you, okay? And um, you pay dearly for it. So if you have a bad weather, you may not be able to get into that convoy. You may not be able to get into that target. You may have to wait. It sucks. I, I know. Uh, I'm impatient too, but you might have to stalk for a while and continue on. All right? So that's that's the weather broaching. All right? The next thing you can do that's bad. Here, let's move this guy over here. All right. Let's do this. Weather is bad for the purposes of your targeting that ship and you're like man I, I had a perfect solution what's going on okay so let's let's get some shapes going on here again my wonderful artistry and, and imagination okay now this is a carrier or something okay who cares anyway the weather again is just horrific look at that okay so boats on a swell will raise you, this boat higher than normal, okay? So um, my torpedo, you know, let's see. I want to make it look a little realistic here, okay? Now you set up this boat to fire a torpedo perfectly. You're doing a magnetic pistol, okay? A couple of bad things are about to happen here, all right? So let's go ahead and select our marker again. You shoot your torpedo, boom, 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 okay? Yes, the swell can literally raise your boat or your target boat high enough to go well past the um, 
magnetic impact pistols range and it goes right under it happens all the time it happened in real life it, it it's going to happen to you if you do it in bad weather okay another thing that's going to happen that's bad okay is a sorry for the sound effects okay that's a premature detonation why all right i'll explain to you all right all of this is energy all right there's a kinetic energy that's going out with these waves, and especially under this boat. Uh, it's static energy and, and kinetic energy. As the boat is traveling, a ship or boat is traveling through the water, it's creating energy around it. Okay? That's why some of these magnetic tor uh, torpedoes and mines were so good in World War II. It's not because they were good. It was, it was working on physics. And the physics part is, is the energy that's being created, or, or whatever you want to call it, science, is being created by these boats as it moves through the water. And that electrical field is being created and it gets bigger the faster it goes. Okay? And the problem is, is that even the torpedo is making all this energy, and as it goes through the waves and it slaps down into the new waves, either one, the pistol is being impacted by the, by the impact of the water, okay, if the, if the swells are big enough, or the energy is just too great, okay? All of this wave is energy, all right? So as you're, I'm trying to clean up a little bit here. So as you launch these torpedoes, you're kind of setting yourself up for a little bit of a failure, okay? All right, yeah, let's get rid of all this crap, all right? Now, there is some good about this kind of weather, and I'll explain this right now. So if this is an escort, Having a crazy, crazy swell weather is good for a couple of reasons, all right? And I'll explain that right now. Let's, let's grab the boat, put it on top of our boat. Let's say it's a, a destroyer or something, okay? All right. Sonar goes through the waves with a high-pitched frequency. And just like all energy, which that's what it is, even as it's going through, whoops, let me get my brush here. Going through the waves, it can be refracted. Okay, that energy goes crazy. All right, not it doesn't always work. Okay, and these different layers of, of decibels and energy can affect it. And while not by much, it's enough for you to get away. And more importantly, I know it's getting a little messy on this whiteboard. If they're doing a passive where they're just listening to you, okay, there's something called decibels. All right, here's my terrible rendition of a speaker. Okay, the, the ocean's a loud place. If you've played Cold Waters, which is a great game, by the way, and I suggest that you try it, you're going to see, it, 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 tell, it shows you how loud the ocean is. It tells you how loud you are compared to the ocean and whether or not you are, are making a lot of noise. Same thing in Silent Hunter 3. That is modeled. So, and I, I challenge you, if you don't believe me, attack an escort or, a, you know, a big convoy during calm weather versus heavy weather and you will see a huge difference the escorts will be all over you in calm weather in fact you'll probably end up having to make them you know spend all of their depth charges before they even leave you because you know calm weather does that it, it's so it's so much easier to find you in a softer less noisy ocean than it is for a noisy ocean i hope this helps guys uh i feel free to you know leave comments on the video feel free to try it and uh, let me know how it works for you all right take care everyone